Okay, so we're looking at uh, uh, ventral view or palmar view of the wrist um, um, under ultrasound with the linear probe uh, in a transverse orientation here. We're just going to start by identifying some, some structures. Over here on the left is the ulnar side and on the right is the, is the radial side. So uh, you can see the ulnar artery is probably the first thing you can identify over here. Uh, you can see it pulsating there with the pulse. Um, this here is going to be the head of the ulna. You can see the, the bright white line there. Um, the ulnar nerve can be identified right here. Um, kind of going with the artery. Um, and you can usually tell nervous tissue by when you uh, rock the probe back and forth, you can, it kind of changes color depending on how the, how the um, probe is positioned. So that, that you can see that there. So we're starting to see carpal bones here, just the shadows there. And then uh, the last thing, you know, we'll look over here um, and we'll see the uh, radial artery there. And then along with that, the uh, radial nerve, which is sometimes a little bit more tricky to identify. Let's see right here. Medially, and here you'll see uh, in the in the middle of the screen. Um, you see a, a tendon bundle, tendon bundle, and the and the median nerve together. Um, so this would be the median nerve here in the middle. Um, if you were to follow that up the f forearm, it would go deeper. Um, if you're looking for uh, like septic tenosynovitis, you'll look for basically a fluid collection completely surrounding the tendon bundle there. Um, so all of this stuff here is all is all tendons and if she were to flex and extend her wrist you can usually see some movement there um, especially if we were to go uh, longitudinally um, you know you can you can see the tendons kind of um, going there Here we are on the dorsal surface now. Um, we can see a large superficial vein there on the right. Um, and uh, probably the most easily identifiable structure here is the head of the ulna, uh, or the, the distal part of the ulna right here. You can see that. Um, Going across the other way, uh, here's the the radius, um, and then the extensor tendon sheath uh, is going to be this structure here in the middle. So if you were going to tap the the wrist, basically you're going to uh, aim for space between the the, um, the carpal bones, basically. So you can find the ulna and come along the um, next to the tendon sheath there and try and get into the joint space. If there is an effusion, you, you usually will see fluid underneath the mm. extensor tendon.